Hi. I'm, like, just here to tell this stupid story. So, like, here we go. Once upon a, like, weirdo time, like, yesterday, there was this girl. So, like, this girl had the most absolutely, hugely, and incredibly, and completely dull life of an everyday awkward teen. Like, I don't even know why you're watching this. Anyway, this is her. Yep. Aurora is the daughter of the principal of Totally Superficial High School. Totally Superficial High School is stuffed full with the most exciting, bright, and diverse group of students. Aurora is not one of those students. Her dad is kind of overbearing, so he decided to homeschool her from an early age. Yeah. Somehow, she has tons of friends and is constantly surrounded at youth group. Gosh, she even won prom queen. She doesn't even go to her school. Ah! Oh, okay, I'm okay. <laughs> so, like, now her fairy friends are taking her out to find the perfect dress. Like, that'll happen. Oh, and this is Mally. Totally superficial high school's resident nerd. She somehow thinks that she's the coolest and most powerful person in the school. Gosh, these people are so weird. And that's Raven, I think. She's either a straight-A student or a scummy bird. Ugh. Anyway, like, we all went to youth group this weekend for a camping trip, and Mally flew off the handle. It's because she totally has a thing for the super smart and perfect Jake. Like, who doesn't, right? Yo, so, I, like, failed a grade. <laughs> Right? Now that I'm the oldest, I'm the prince of the entire school and youth group. That's right. So Jake winked at Aurora or something, and she took it as a sign that they're meant to be. And <laughs> Mally saw and went all crazy dragon lady on us, and put a, like, really creepy and confusing curse on Aurora. Whatever. I'm so much cooler than you are. Gosh, like... I'm gonna put a curse on you! MC Delta Squared! Victor of this and that! And sign and cause I tag you to 31! And when you prick your finger on the next funeral home sign, you're gonna die! Come, oh, Raven! Yeah, well, I'll I'll not! I'm not gonna. No. Freaky bit was that it came true. Prick my finger on a funeral home sign. Where am I gonna find a funeral home sign? Oh, dear blessed child. Well, and the pastor was right there. He was either behind it all or totally oblivious. He kind of just left her there as if it was a sign from God. Her friends thought she had passed out and since they didn't have a tent, they tried to stuff her into a trunk of a car. Losers. Only then did things become tragic and interesting. Jake came to the rescue. But then ended up running off with that cool chick, Fairy Curl. Ugh. I don't know who I was rooting for, but <laughs> that was just tear-jerking people. Oh, what happened to Mally? Well, you have to, like, wait, okay? This is just a trailer. <laughs> Losers.